Hello everybody and welcome to UKG 2024. I am over at the Loki Battle Mat stand with Matt, the battling battle mat man. Um, so, always a pleasure to, to see you. It's always great to see the new and exciting things you have. Um, what have you been up to then recently? So on most recent releases, we have a new big and a new giant book in our Books of Battle Mats range. Mm -hmm. And that's just behind me here. Mm -hmm. So this is the giant book of Battle Mats, Wilds, Wrecks and Ruins. So this is lots of outdoor scenes. Mm -hmm. um, on one map spread, you'll find a point of interest in some sort of wilderness biome. Mm -hmm. And then on the next set of pages, there'll be something that would be an approach to that point of interest. Yeah. So as you flick through, there'll be some ruins or something like that, this case in a swamp. And the other page, I think we skipped one, oh. should be a swamp that would then sort of fit in. Yeah. On the back of the books, we do the, the index. And there you can see that the, um, the spreads make sort of double spreads. Yeah. So if a gaming group happened to have two of the products, they could make a larger area and have more space to do more battles. Yeah. And this is the giant book in the range. There's also a big book, which is Wrecks and Ruins. And this is just points of interest in those biomes. This one doesn't really have the plain approach piece. Yeah. Uh, these are different designs, but they're unique and usable on their own, but they're also complementary to the giant book. Yeah. So for example, page one and two in the giant is a big wrecked ship, some cliffs with some ruins on. This one is a much raw, smaller wrecked, mm. I suppose, boat and a smaller cliff. But you'll find as well that these ones will seamlessly go together mm. to make bigger scenes on the two books if you happen to have both of them to put together. And as you go through the smaller one, you'll find that the designs will match up so you can put your ship offshore, do that sort of thing. Uh, a good one, for example, in this is the skeletal one. So on this one, you can stick the giant skull on the top and finish off that and make them go somewhere else on the scene. Yeah. It's, it's a really interesting way to combine multiple books as well because you can then bounce back and forward size-wise, whether you've got the small book and then get the, the bigger book later on or, yeah, totally. or, or pick them both up at the same time just for additional setups. And, and the same as, as normal, we'll try and make sure that an individual page is a fully usable thing in its own right. Mm. Open it up, you've got a larger area with more going on put it next to one of our products and you end up with lots and lots of customization uh, variations. Hmm. And we're, we're just expanding on the theme of the modular books. Yeah. And so apart from the books, uh, you also have the upcoming deck of many insults, which is something that we've loved. It's something new for us. This is, uh, a, I think, our first no map at all product. Yep. And it's exactly what it says in the box, really. It is a deck of um, 100 fantasy themed insults to uh, bring a bit of a banter to your table. Yeah, for the bards out there, I'd rather stick my head in a bag of devouring than rely on you for anything remotely important, Justin. Uh, but they're a, a handy thing to have when you just want to add a bit of flavor to your, your gameplay. Absolutely, and we've, we've done them, so there are 100 cards. Uh, 50 of them contain proper swearing. It's a 16 plus product for that reason. 50 of them kind of use dictionary words to get their insults across without resorting to, you know, bad language. Well, that, that's always good. Uh, it's coming out in a month or so? I think it's landed in port literally yesterday. So we just need to process the um, crowdfunding campaign we did on back kit for it. And then it goes through the various logistic channels, which means it gets into shops. Okay. So it should be around a month. Well, definitely want to keep your eye out for if you, you fancy throwing some insults around. Uh, you also have a few other bits and pieces that are due soon. I do need these ones as well. We did a crowdfunding for earlier this year. So greeting cards. Yep. So we're, we're kind of seeing what's missing out there and what we might be able to fill as items. So this is a pack of 12 cards, two different designs. So you've got a dragon, you've got some dice, and they it's like any set of cards. You've got yep. the, uh, the peel and stick envelopes. But gaming groups, that, that's enough cards for your immediate gaming circle. Send them to your RPG group, your board game friends. Um, on a similar note, every year come gifting season, we always see the advice of wrapping paper's got a one inch grid on the back. Use your wrapping paper for doing your battle maps. We've helped with that by pre-battle mapping the wrapping paper side. So, this is ridiculous. 
I absolutely love it. These are fantastic. They're, they're quite big as well for making sure you get the right size presents in. Oh, yeah, well, you don't want to be reduced to just the Terry's chocolate orange. You want something substantial. Well, there's nothing wrong with having the Terry's chocolate orange. <laughs> you can put bigger things in this and have your chocolate orange separate. <laughs> so that is, I think it's uh, 29 by 17, I want to say. It's probably yeah. not that, but it, it's, it's large. Yeah. And the other side, you have your more traditional grid. <laughs> it's, it's a really cute idea, especially Christmas morning or birthday morning. You get a chance to play a game and then they can unwrap the present only if they beat the final boss. Well, that's it. And if, if you've wrapped it carefully enough, you can um, unwrap it and make use of it. We've also got some gift um, tags in there which have a QR code so you get a digital copy just in case you savagely rip it open or let your dog open your present. Oh, dear. Um, speaking of digital, before I, we move on to anything else, um, are you still playing around with the, the Patreon where you're doing your ridiculous size mats? Yes, it's still, I mean, a good example of that is our backing banners here. Mm -hmm. So the, the um, ah, whatever you call the back of your stand, yes. <laughs> um, that is just one of the online maps. That's like a um, 100 by 100 map that's printed at actual scale. So if you were to lay that back, backing down, you can sit your minis on it and have a run through. You'd have to go around our logo, but... Well, yeah, so. you know, some things were sent to try you. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. Uh, it's a final boss battle trying to beat the logo. Uh, where can people find those if they're online? Uh, on Patreon, it's Loki Battle Matt, uh, with two Ts, because it's my name as opposed to the company name, yeah. but it's kind of the same. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm still doing um, online games, so I'm still making maps for my own games, mm -hmm. and I just like drawing maps, so yeah. <laughs> it's another outlet for having all of those things. So something else we've got coming up, which we did a Kickstarter for earlier in this year, is the kind of like the next evolution in our modular two-book set. Yep. This is the terrain set, and the difference here is this comes with some of our static cling scenery mm. included inside the books. So, in the back, there are two of these one-foot square sheets with lots of wilderness-style decals. Yep. And the theme on this one, we've, we've been asked quite a lot for basically just base layers, Generic. So, so people can yep. customise themselves from there. So that's, that's what this book is. It's just lots of plain but still detailed designs. So, you know, you can see the rocks, you can yeah. see differences in the snow. It's not just a blank colour or anything like that. And just lots of the standard things to cover. There's a few near the back that have got a bit more detail on for, like, um, rivers and uh, canyons and things like that. Mm. Uh, the other book's got a, a beach half that will fit that as a full beach. I need a bigger arm. <laughs> and all of these are uh, gloss finished, so you can use the overhead projector pens on them? Yes. And these will come with a QR code, so you can get digital stuff, including an adventure that will go with that. And obviously, that's two books. Once they're all fully opened out, you get a two-by-two two area. Or if your table's a bit longer and thinner, one-by-four, or zigzag them, however you want to do it. And it's all of those biomes, and you can customise them. So that's the actual stickers from that, mm. showing what it yeah. campsite in a forest might look like as an example yeah. um, it's a terrific range of, of books and paraphernalia once again uh, where can people find you here at the expo we are 1539 that's good and if they can't get to the expo then they can find you at Loki uh, LokiBattleMats.com okay. and just, just googling Loki Battlemats will find us in lots of places yeah. uh, well there you go folks uh, another little journey through the world of Loki uh, definitely worth checking out definitely worth checking out that ridiculous map patron as well uh, because they are just insane too big to be printed but you can have them in the digital realm instead let us know what you think below folks we're going to move on and see what else the expo has to offer